Hi there, Blast Processors. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our first video of 2011. Yeah. 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 And we have something very special for you today. I, I'd, I'd just like to take a moment okay. to say uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, it's been nice been while. to it's, all be back together it's, it's again. It's nice. This is it's nice. You know, week of our birthday as well. This is being filmed. Um, you know, I'm not promising. This not that we all be. have the birthday. Blast process. Blast okay. process. Blast process. Of course. Blast process. We've all been uh, rather busy as well over Christmas time. So yes, well, it's the start of a new year. And there's plenty uh, uh, more good times. things uh, coming your way. First of which would be we have a game. We have we a do. game. Oh, before everyone else has a game, which is rather exciting. Well, game like, could it be? You could all be playing it by the time you're watching the video, but yeah. this is pretty <laughs> special for us. So, uh, go on, Mike. What are we playing? We have been playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Three. Three. Which, 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 which our t shirts may, may oh, have yes. slightly give them away. How about that? <laughs> nice t shirts. Yeah, very nice t shirts. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, if you ordered one a game, you might have got one. But anyway, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've, yeah. we've always had a little go at the game, and I have to say, I'm very impressed. Yes. It is as frantic and as uh, crazy yeah. as you, well, you, those who play Marvel vs. Capcom know it. Uh, it still stands as Marvel vs. Capcom yes. game. Very in yeah. your face. Yeah. While well, Street thought? Fighter, you know, is quite a technical sort of. Yeah. How do I word it? This is just this it's is just a technical this is just fighting game. Yeah. Wowzers! This is like it's fill the screen full of action and explosions. And as it has always been. Yeah. 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 Um, Dave, you've been playing this longer than uh, me and Mark. We've only just had a go. You've had it all day. Well, well I've I've had a, a blast of the arcade mode, and um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it was it was very good. The uh, the end boss is um, pretty intense. I nearly threw my controller across the room, but you know, it, first eight goes against the boss, and I haven't beat him yet. But you well, know, this is the end bosses up. in fighting games can be a real pain in the arse. Yeah, yeah, in fact, we all know about Seth. Seth. Yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> often than not, it never feels like a fair fight at the end bosses. It's no. quite refreshing when you get to an end boss in a fighting game. It's actually just a normal one on one, which I guess this isn't, is it? Uh... This 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 guy fills half your screen and yeah. he kills you in one hit. Not to worry, I'm sure there are much better uh, fighting game fanatics out there than myself. Probably you two yourself down. Yeah, they do quite well. Well, we'll, we'll see. But we, you we aren't using one of these, are you, Dave? That's no, what we need. No, I'm not. An arcade, I'm not stick. arcade stick. We've um, played it with both the arcade stick and the controller now. Yeah. I think the overall feeling among the three of us was the arcade is, stick. Yeah. yeah, this is the best it's, way to play it. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've injured my thumb using the D-pad on the controller all day. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, if you can get yourself an arcade stick, which I'm going to tell you now is not an easy task. <laughs> I definitely recommend it. Uh, I recommend this one. This is the um, the Hori uh, Wireless Tekken 6 pad, which came packaged with the game. Got it for an affordable £30. If you can find it for that, that'll be good. It can be a bit, Bargain. bit scary as well, first as well when you first pick up an arcade stick because you're faced with that many different buttons and you don't really have a clue what's going I mean, on. If you're used to using but, controllers, yeah. yes, yeah. of course. Have a bit of practice and get used to it. It's far more simple to pull off. Oh yeah, the yeah. The, co the combos are. You've far just got so much more control of what you're doing. You've got everything at your fingertips. You yeah. know, it's not all, all over like that. Yeah, that's the way of representing. <laughs> anyway, going there. going going back to the game itself. Yeah. Um, it doesn't boast quite as many characters as the previous versions. Well, uh, well, the last one, Marvel's Capcom 2, that had, had about 50 lot. players, didn't? 40, 50 players. Yeah, had Ryu and Ken were in there. Yeah, yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, yeah, there were a lot. And it's, it's sad to see some of the uh, favourites, my favourite from the other games, not in this one. Yeah. I do like uh, Captain Commander, and I he's sorely missing, but you're never going to be able to please yeah. everyone. I think they're just giving a chance for other characters That's to it. shine, and it's nice. Because not everyone will ones. know all the Capcom mm. or Marvel characters, so it gives a chance for you to learn who they are. Some really good additions about. in this Some one. really up to mm. date, you know, they're, they're right on the, on the mark. Uh, I mean, they've got um, Spencer from Bionic Commando. Yeah. All the Avengers, so you know, the, it, all of them have had Iron Man and such, but mm -hmm. this one you've got Deadpool, um, you've got Dante representing Capcom from Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Amoretsu from Capcom as well, if that's how you pronounce I think all the, um, same the name. But uh, it's good enough. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. We've only really been trying out the versus mode um, this mm. evening. Which, um, I've not seen any more of the game itself yet. 
Yeah, the the, I mean, the you've got you've got the arcade yeah. mode. You've got the versus modes. You've also got missions, um, which require you to, to choose each individual character, and then it'll ask you to perform that a move that that character does. Once it's you performed, it moves on to another mission, that's and so on. Like, like, um, Super Street Fighter Four. It's like the challenge mode. Yeah, it's, where you've it's got that. learning through yeah. the moves, but that was more of a training mission. <coughs> where this sounds more like full on an mode. actual game mode. I, yeah. I'd say. Well, yeah, I think it, it is sort of like training, isn't it, really? Yeah. It's getting you to practice different combos and try well, to combos. It seems to be some kind of task yeah. to do it. Yeah. The menus, I noticed as soon as starting it up, were very similar to Super Street Fighter 4. And it would uh, zoom from one theme to another, you know, uh, mm. you have one character representing one screen, and you move to the next screen, there's another character in the background and such. So the presentation is very slick and reminiscent of yeah. Super Street Fighter. Definitely. Um, going slightly back to characters, it'd be good to get your two viewpoints on this, but they'd already announced that there was going to be two DLC characters with the Special Edition in America. Sadly, I don't think anywhere in the UK has got them. Um, mm. They're going to be available on Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network soon. One of them is Jill Valentine, and the other one, I'm going to be ashamed to say, I can't remember their names. Is it Sh Shumu Goraf? Sh some yeah. Is it that big, is it that thing with the eye? Like the green the thing with thing. the eye. Oh, yeah. that one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah well. So that, that's going to cost you about 800 Microsoft points, or obviously the equivalent on the network to download. Mm. Um, <coughs> do we feel that it's too early to announce DLC characters? Or? Yeah, it's, it's quite unusual, isn't it, to release them alongside the game as soon as it's released. It's usually something that happens afterwards, and I guess you can't help feeling a little bit cheated that they've not been put in there, seeing that yeah. they're ready to but go. What game and... doesn't have DLC from day one or the first couple of weeks pretty well, much. Well, it's yeah. always something that they miss from the mm. games. That but in terms of if you compare it to more. some of the other yeah. ones, like the other Capcom fighters, that hasn't been quite as, as sudden for there's, the uh, There's already the costumes available. that have been announced that are going to be available yeah. next week, yeah. I believe, um, which are again going to cost around the end of the point, uh, point mark, which are going to be different costumes for Iron Man. And, uh, Chris hey, I, Redfield and I haven't bothered with any of the costumes for Super Street Fighter. I think they're just a bit expensive for what they are. Yeah. It's, uh, you can buy a whole game for the price of the <laughs> costume packs, can't you? Like one thousand. Yeah. It's the whole kind of avatar costume debate as well, yeah. isn't it? Is it worth spending Microsoft points on costumes? Yeah. In, interestingly, the... in regards to DLC, though, uh, I believe Capcom Europe are already have already got polls up on their website in their forums for Marvel and Capcom characters that people want to see. Mm. Um, I've, I've, I had a quick flick through, and sadly, I didn't see Captain Commando's name uh, appear. Uh, <laughs> but Phoenix Wright did mention. Um, was mentioned quite a few times. Yeah, if it's quite a bizarre one, um, I think. But... Objection! <laughs> that kind of, that guy. I you am the law. <laughs> you also mentioned Dave about um, Frank West. Yeah, he got a he got a mention. Which could be a times. possibility, seeing that he was in the Wii's equivalent to Tatsunoko versus Capcom. So yeah, I've heard that he won't be appearing, mm. or maybe appearing, but it wasn't in the original game. He was in it initially, but due to how difficult it was to mimic his new moves in the game. Right. They scrapped the idea and put work into other sections of the game. Do you know what they could they could put Chuck Green instead from Dead Rising Two. That'd be <laughs> I think he's a great character and he'd he'd fit right in here. We can get some zombies in there as well, you know. Mentioning <coughs> Tatsunoki versus uh, Capcom, the obviously the simple command yeah. option that you had, um for the Wii remote where you sort of one button presses to pull off your combos. That's actually in Marvel vs Capcom three. So if you um, a complete newbie to what's going on in this in these kind of games, you can go for that, uh, and that's a far simpler approach. To I don't think uh, anyone should be put off by the fact that this is you know a, a long-running fighting game franchise, and people shouldn't think they can't get straight into this because everything's been put in place, so anyone can pick up a arcade stick or pad and yeah, yeah, get playing yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's a bit daunting to when you see gameplay for the first it's time. It's fast. The, the amount yeah. of stuff that's going on. But I think you know. You can enjoy it, whatever, you know, you can just sort of bash buttons and some amazing fireworks <laughs> play happens on the screen, so... Uh, but when you look at the buttons, it's pretty basic. Oh yeah, it really is, is, yeah. What I like is buttons, special buttons. Special, and some of them can be stringed together for like two heavies. Mm. Or all three together I mean, with one button. There is still depth in there. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but maybe from what um, I was reading something, one of the tournament players of the champion, I think, of vs. Capcom 2 had said that he found it very fun, but as a competitive professional fighting game, 
it's a bit cheap yeah. in that respect. Yeah. But uh, that, that's coming from a professional, you know. That's... I think it's because a lot of the moves are just a quarter circle yeah. and then a button or a quarter but, circle. Yeah. It's not as technical as Super Street Fighter 4 no, and, no, and yeah. such, is it? Because all the characters have their own unique moves where in this, to pull off most of the moves, it's pretty much the same. The, the characters do different in some aspects, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, some are slower than others, but but yeah, like Mike was saying, it's it's more if you can pull off the move with one character, you can pretty much pull yeah, off the yeah, special move. Yeah. Which which is nice, isn't it? It's good. I think most of us just play these games for fun anyway. Well, and, I think uh, that's what the main idea because that's what you've got that's... that many characters to pick from, and yeah, because you'll know most of the characters. It's something you can just take around your friend's house, yeah, pick up and play, and everyone can have a have a blast. <laughs> a blast. Have a blast. Um, but yes, now I think the game gets all our thumbs up. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And uh, we look forward to um, playing some new Blast processes online when yes, the game's released yeah. on Friday. We'll all uh, be on there, hopefully. If anybody's watching this and um, have none of us on um, their Xbox Live, feel free to post a comment on the website or on our YouTube page and we'll, uh, we'll possibly add you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, that'll be a nice thing to do this year to get playing more of the uh, the viewers. Of yes, the definitely, definitely. This sure we could sort out some kind of gaming nights or yeah, something similar to get everyone involved. So it's always good to play new people. There yeah, we go. definitely. Have a bit of a laugh. Definitely, because this is the year of blast process. This you, is it. Yes. Well, I think that's uh, that wraps it up for. Yes. Uh, this little uh, preview of Marvel's Capcom 3, available in stores, uh, Friday the 18th of February. Yeah. Um, and for we'll, PlayStation 3 and Xbox? For PlayStation 3 and Xbox, not on Wii, unfortunately. No, but then we've we got Tatsunoko on Wii, so we can play that as well. <laughs> so yes. well, it's been lovely, folks. We'll see you on our next we'll video. We'll see you all soon. Cheerio. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, stop it. Ha ha ha!